generic greetings and welcome back to where ships conquer the skies today's beverages uh, coffee black no sugar let's crack straight on this one and design something that a lot of people have been requesting over well basically the <laughs> the latest videos as far as i can remember back people have requested this design and this is the kamikaze slash suicide vessel the idea is that we make an airship that crashes into something and then either destroys it because of the initial impact or because of the secondary explosions from probably lots of ammo stores going up so it should be a fairly easy design so i, I don't expect this to be a long video let's go with a a large propeller because speed is the key. In terms of lift, we're going to go with probably some suspendium chambers like so. We also need some coal to uh, have this powered up because we don't have to have, um, because we don't have to have this really uh, as a, as a, um, it's not about longevity for this thing. It just needs to go, um, whack straight into the target and then there you go sort of call it done it doesn't really matter uh, what's left now it's a bit crass and a bit basic i know and uh, it's sort of a bit unsettling of what we're going to do with it but uh, hey ho we'll try it also we need to sort of lay down some parameters like we're, we're not going to be taking on airships we're not going to be um doing anything other than ramming stationary objects and we want to make it as cheap as possible so in terms of armor we'll go for a wood wall because we really don't care about this thing getting hit uh, in terms of the command and crew let's do that now uh, we'll go with a I think we'll just go with a cockpit to be honest with you and maybe how many crew does say we need five crew so we'll go with two berths that should be a total of six which is correct and that is technically um, <laughs> a vessel that may function we do need to have some supply hatches so what I'll do is go back over to resources and we'll go for a wooden supply hatch we'll place one there and then we need to connect up what's going to be at the front here now in terms of weapons we're not going to put anything on there we don't really need it we're going to have two struts like so and then back over to resources probably some ammo stars uh one two three i think oh actually this uh that can't be done because those need access so we'll do that and then Ah, oh, you know what? I'm guarantee that when we connect those up, it'll say, yeah, we need more supply hatches. So I'll place another supply hatch like so, and then we'll have probably just a deck or something. Uh, a deck like that, and that is in. There you go, that, that, that's literally all we need to make. Um, I don't know whether having it as a 2x2 two two block for the ammo store is a good idea, or whether we want it taller, but we're going to go with that. In terms of cost, it is 547. Service ceiling of 79 metres, so more than enough to deal with buildings. They generally don't um, go above that. In you know, As a rule, you understand. In terms of crew, 6, uh, recommended 8, but as I said... The whole point is to smash this into the front and then uh, see what happens there. We haven't got any weapons on it, but I don't think we really need it. It's called the Rampage, which I think is a fine name. We're going to go with some, probably like a flame on the front. Yeah, that's okay. And then um, maybe like a, a mouth and an eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. And then we'll save that design. So that's probably the quickest design we have made. Um, it's also probably going to be the most useless, and that's saying something. So I'm just going to keep going on to a relatively flat bit of uh, ground here. We're going to add a building of... What's the rough cost? There you go. There's 572. We're going to place that in there. And if we go over to our airship and go down to the rampage, we can see that, um, yeah, it's 554 versus 572. So we are not evenly priced, but um, it's certainly about right. It's going to be as close as we're going to get it. So the problem with this design, I can see straight away, is that this will easily go out of action. If that bridge gets hit, it's gone. Bear in mind that we've got wooden walls, so that's it. No armor or anything, or reinforced, or metal. So... This is probably going to go out of action straight away, and then that would make us lose. But this is supposed to be, you know, used as part of a fleet. It's a shock vessel, isn't it? So we're going to start that fight, and then we're going to say ram, and say ram the other side, and let's just see what happens. And... Okay, and then secondary explosions. Right, so... <laughs> That was pretty much what we anticipated. Now, we have lost. Um, as you can see, we've took a massive chunk out of this building. Um, but it did do what we thought it might. So let's go back over to combat here. We're going to say building once again. And we'll place the... We'll actually place the Dark Cube version 3 in for a little uh, change up. And we'll say the airship again. Over to the rampage. And we'll try that again. Start the fight. We'll say ram over to there. And let's see what happens. So there's the shots coming into us, which is all kinds of bad. And bang. And here we go. Secondaries go up. And I don't think that explosion's actually doing much, to be honest with you. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think... 
them, the explosions there are doing much to this. I don't know if there are or not. I can't decide. Let me try that again. Uh, airship, the rampage, like so. And then finally, the building. Hang on. Do you want to put a bigger building in? Maybe have a couple of these. Say white lookouts. Um, could do. Could do. So put one of those there. Cost for that is... Okay, we'll probably get two of these for that then. Uh, so we'll say airship rampage. We're going to put three of them in just because we can. We'll sort of trail them in. So we are overpointed, but not by, you know, like a silly amount. Um, and we have two options. We either chop it at the bottom like a tree and it'll topple itself or we take the top out first. I'm of the opinion that we should smash into the top simply because that will take out most of their weapons. So we'll start the fight. That one will say ram to there. We're only going to put them in one at a time. Uh, we're taking hits and there's the initial which is, um, well, yeah, there you go. It's, uh, <laughs> it's taken out one of our things but it has managed to um, do a fairly decent amount of damage to it. It's lost all but all, well, all but the uh, rifles at the front. Uh, there's another hit there. Um, you notice, however, um, that what's happening is... <laughs> oh, good grief. You notice that what's happening is that when we ram with this, it doesn't, it doesn't actually explode. Um, it's If it gets destroyed by, by that way, uh, that means... Um, it doesn't actually blow up. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I go ram to uh, ram to there, it's probably not going to explode. Um, is it going to explode? See, it just destroys it. And yeah, there we go. It's because we take damage, then it blows up. Uh, you can see the explosions there. Are... Yeah, you know what? That is... That's doing some damage, right? We can see it's doing damage. But there's something to be thought on here. Let's go to airship editor to open that design. We're going to open up the rampage. We're just going to get rid of all of that. All that can go. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is go to weapons and to a... where is it? Uh, the uh, spiked ram? And uh, there you go. Let's just try that. So save design. Uh, we'll rename it, obviously. It's currently the rampage. Uh, we're going to call it <laughs> the ram underscore page. No, no, that would be that silly. Uh, we'll cut up the troll. Why not? Uh, and we'll save the design like that. So this is a lot cheaper. Um, will it work? I have no idea. We're going to find out. Airship. The troll. And we'll place it there. We're going to place a couple of them in. Um, building. We'll place in the same one. Because why not? Um, and well, we'll actually be able to get some more. We've got a couple more trolls in. One there. And, okay, so we'll do that. So we're all pointed at once again, but not that it matters too much. I'm going to place that near the top. I'm going to start the fight. That one's immediately going to ram to the other side. And let's see if we do the same amount of damage. And crunch. Okay, that happened. Um, That did sort of work. Oh, hang on. We are on fire now. That's not good. Um, We'll say that one ram to there. That one ram to there. Let's just, just work our way through. Um, Crunch. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced that it was, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> oh, that couldn't have gone any worse if we tried, that one was destined to ram the just top half there, just this little top section, um, and just slice the top off, but what actually happened is that this chopped from underneath it, because of that, this dropped by a couple of uh, a couple of blocks, and that one sailed straight over the top, and the flak managed to take out everything. <laughs> oh, good grief! Okay, so we'll have to have this one. We'll just say ram to there. It's going to ram our own vessel, but it doesn't matter. It's because that's going to push it forward anyway. And I'm very sorry about this, old chap. And yeah, that was a surprise. Um, we're going to back up, and what we'll probably do is we'll say ram to there. Um, I don't know whether whether we are causing more damage because of the ram or not. I really can't decide. And oh, that was a bit that was a bit pathetic, wasn't it? It slowly went there. Oh, it's because the engine got taken out. Um, okay, maybe maybe there is something to be said there. Um, let's just open airship editor once again. We're going to open up the troll and we're going to get rid of that ram. And instead, all I'm going to do is place some struts right up like so. And then like that, and like that, and then um, we're going to save that. Uh, we'll just save it as, uh, oh sorry, save the design, save, yes, and then leave combat. 
Uh, it's a snow day today. I don't know why we're putting it on snow, but we are. Uh, so we'll open up the troll once again. And this is just obviously a big flat surface there. And building, we'll have the white lookout. Place it there. Uh, we do need some more of these. Uh, ship. Um, troll. Okay, so again, once again, overpointed, but it shouldn't matter too much. That one will say ram to there. And let's see if it's just straight up hitting it with a brute force works. Yeah, there you go, look. So we have managed to do pretty much the same amount of damage. Um, so you can just get away with just ramming it with just a flat surface um, like that, you see. What the hell was that? Oh, that's taking some tree out. Um, oh, for <laughs> okay, ram back to there. I said ram. Ram back to there. There we go. And... Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, I managed to do that. Uh, and that's on fire now. That's bad. Oh, it's lost. It's lost the front. Uh, lost the engine, rather, so we can't even move. So we'll just have to push that into there. Yeah, that's not working at all, is it? Um. Okay, we're going to have to go up to there, then. And keep going back and forward, really. Um... So all we've done now is give it a blade of armor with a, <laughs> with this extra bit. So yeah, maybe having something that does uh, explode is a, val a valid choice. The ram, the, the actual ramming spike thing was fine. It did seem to work. Um, in fact, what it did was something I didn't really expect, and that was chop it right in right in two. Um, whereas with this, it's just you know brute force kinetic energy imparted, etc., uh, and it doesn't necessarily work. Um, as intended. See, all we're doing is adding on top of it now, so that's not going to uh, work. So I think the best action, the best course of action really is to just use, um, we'll just use the, essentially the the old troll with the big spike, but uh, lengthen the uh, the beam on it, so we're using it as a spear. Um, that works very well. Um, and then the other one, let's place a troll in, and then let's also place, uh, back to white lookout, Let's also place we'll place two trolls like that, and we'll place um, two rampages. So that's like the shock factor of them in. Uh, how many points are we on? Uh, well over pointed. There we go. So we're just over. So if we move these down like so, have them next to each other, that will hopefully work. Because now we're going to basically start the fight... Both of those will be ordered to ram to there, and it will go, and bang. There you go, look at that. And then the secondary explosions will hopefully spread there. Um, it looks like... It does look like the bottom one here is still intact. Um, in fact, I've just realised that... Oh, is that going to blow up? There we go, that blows up, but then, yeah, it doesn't chain it. There we are, we're back, we're back. Uh, we're going to push the top off. I don't know if you can notice, uh, I don't know if you noticed there, but uh, the only thing connecting these two is our bit of wood, and... Yeah, that just doesn't work. <laughs> Why didn't that work like that? Okay. Um, that one ramped to there. That one will ram back to there. We have got more than enough time to... Well, we're going to take our time with it because there's no guns shooting at us. So, yeah, in terms of overall effectiveness, this one is probably the... I think the spike is the most effective. Also, it's a lot cheaper. It's a couple hundred points cheaper than this. Um, it doesn't have the... It really the... <laughs> the sort of initial... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the explosions. There's something to be said for it, I think. Mm. But yeah, um, I think the spike's the best one, just because it's cheap. It's very, very cheap. Uh, the second most effective is that one on the bottom. Well, these two here. The one with the ammo on the front. And then this one is pretty much completely useless in every way. Although, it does take out a big chunk of it. Uh, and there's something to be said, I think, for having this a lot bigger. In fact, probably the height of the defense, really. Uh, and then the initial hit just takes all the weapons out. Remember, up until very recently, all of the weapons had to be on the edge of stuff. It was only uh, really when Sponsons came in that... Um, there was a way to to uh, put weapons on something that would be uh, not just on the front. You couldn't have Swansons anywhere you want on the on the uh, on the ground vessels or wherever. Uh, and I don't even know if these can use Swansons. I think they can. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah. So a big flat surface whacking into something like that just takes out all of their weapons, and that's it. It's uh, it's gone. Um, 
whereas the spike is obviously designed to really chop through it and then this other one is just <laughs> with, the, with the stuff on the front not only does it have that flat surface but it also has that explosion stuff which i don't know if it's affecting it much doesn't i don't know if i can't decide whether it is or it isn't um it could just be the initial impact and the constant drive through it you see but uh yeah also as if it's ramming forward and you one of the bits blows up um it then goes forward a little bit so you get multiple little sort of little hits into it which is why it's uh, chopping it like that but anyway that's been a very short one but um i think really enough to um <laughs> really decide whether or not we're gonna continue on with the uh, the line of that uh, ramming vessels do work they've been in the game pretty much from day one with the rams and stuff and they are fine whether or not we go with that other design i really have no idea um another way of doing it would be to have a ground vehicle and just completely fill it with uh, with loads of TNT uh, with loads of um, ammo and then just slowly drive towards the enemy and park it but um, yeah I think you've got diminishing returns there either way I hope you have enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings